Okay, so first things first, uh, let's review what the area of a non right triangle is. It would be one half AB sine of angle C. Now, just a reminder whatever your um, angle is here, then the other two sides are what you're using. So it has to be a side angle side that you're looking at. Um, <clears throat> So we're gonna use this formula to determine the area of this non-traditional shape. Um, so when we do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I recognize that there is a right angle in the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm gonna create a right triangle. Um, so by creating that shape, I have now created two different triangles. Now, the first triangle, uh, I can calculate its area pretty simply. So let's look at the area of this. Let's make it green. First, we're gonna find the area of the green triangle. So when we find the area of the green triangle, we have one half times five times 12, and I'm taking the sine of the angle between them, which is 90, which if you remember the sine of 90 degrees is just, um, is just one. And so when I do that, I end up getting that the area here is just 30 centimeters squared. So that's just that green triangle, but now I need to figure out, um, now that I have this triangle, I don't know what this angle is here. Um, I know that this whole angle is 120, but I need to just know that little piece of the angle that is in the other triangle. Let's make the other triangle, let's, let's make it red. So up in this triangle up here, I still have to figure it out. Now I know that that angle is 120, um, but I need to figure out what that smaller angle is. And the only way for me to do that is to know what the small piece inside the green triangle is. And I, since it is a right triangle, can figure that out. We can figure that out. So that small angle here, um, right here, uh, that small angle is going to be calculated using our tangent identity because we have opposite and adjacent. So therefore I know that theta is equal to the tan inverse of five divided by 12, which is 22.6 degrees. Okay, now this is really great because now I can figure out what the other half of that angle is by doing 120 minus that. So therefore, I know that the angle DBC is equal to 97.4 degrees. Now this is really helpful because it's gonna give me my next angle that I need to use to calculate the area of the red triangle. So let's go ahead and start setting that up. So I have one half times 18 times, uh oh, I don't know what that blue dotted line length is. So I still need to figure out what that blue dotted line length is, but I do know that at the end is gonna be sine 97.4. Now, in order to figure out what this blue line here is, in order to find this blue line length, um, I can use Pythagorean theorem for that green triangle. So we have, um, in order to find that blue line length, we have um, five squared plus 12 squared equals X squared, um, which once you solve that out, we find out that that side is 13. Now I solve this area equation right here. And when I do, I end up getting that this is equal to 116 centimeters squared. 
Now that's just the red triangle, but we already found the area of the red triangle as well. So if we add those two together, then we will have the area of the entire figure. So the area of the entire figure would be equal to 146 centimeters squared. Pretty straightforward, you just have to know how to break it up. Um, and then you're able to use two different triangles. So you're just creating triangles in order to figure out what a non-traditional shapes area is. Okay, so on that note, we have a couple problems here. Again, if these problems are not assigned to you, that doesn't mean you should just skip off and not do them. I highly recommend doing them, but in case you get stuck, the people who are responsible for each one are, First, we have uh, question one is going to be done by Tomas. Question two is going to be done by Andrew. Question three is going to be done by Bella. And question four is going to be done by Nock. But again, I encourage everyone to look at all of the problems, but those are the ones you're responsible for this week. Okay, great. I will um, see you all on Wednesday slash Thursday.